to Kitech Technologies Private Limited. This is a demo of Transmission Line Trainer ACD13A Part 2. In the previous part, we saw the trainer board description and experiment of measuring the attenuation of line. Now we will see an, another exam experiment. Open experiment number 3 given in the manual. Measuring the input impedance of the line. Follow the procedure given in the manual and make the connection as shown in the diagram. Connect one ohm resistance in series between the generator and the transmission line as shown in the diagram. Connect first channel of CRO to the BNC connector provided on board to calculate V in across the 1 ohm register. Connect the second channel of the CRO at the output across the 1 ohm register present on board. Now switch on the gate. We are giving sine wave of 100 kHz frequency and 400 millivolt amplitude. The first channel is the input across the 1 ohm register. The second channel is the output across it. Measure input and output V in and Vm and put it in the formula given in the manual. Z in equals to V in divided by Vm to calculate the input impedance of the transmission line. Now change the frequency to 1 MHz from 100 kHz and calculate the input impedance. You will observe that as the frequency increases, the input impedance of the transmission line decreases. Now open experiment number 4, four given in the manual. Phase displacement between the current and voltage at input of line. Follow the procedure given in the manual and make the connection as shown in the diagram. Keep the CRO in XY mode and observe the Lisa just pattern on the CRO. This is a Lisa just pattern. It looks like an ellipse with its major axis and minor axis. Calculate x1 and x2 or y1 and y2 and put it in the formula sin phi equals to y1 divided by y2 equals to x1 divided by x2 to calculate the phase displacement. Like this you can perform the experiment of input impedance and to find the phase displacement between voltage and current. Thank you.